I think a lot uh, of this campaign, maybe over the last four years, has been devoted to this notion that I think government creates jobs, that that somehow is the answer. That's not what I believe. I believe that the free enterprise system is the greatest engine of prosperity the world's ever known. A free market, it doesn't work. It has never worked. Fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Us over here and them over there have an interesting relationship. They import our celebrity runaways. We import their heavily accented talent show judges. They riot in the streets and turn over police cars. We occupy the streets and do other things to police cars. But we've always had more in common than we've had differences. So how can you explain America's success and Europe's stagnation over the years? You can do it all with one poll. Pew asks this question. Which do you think is more important? That you have the freedom to pursue life's goals without state interference, or that the state guarantees that nobody is in need? In Britain, 55% say the state must guarantee that nobody is in need. In Germany, it's 62%. Wow. France, 64 And in Spain, 67%. Around the world, the overwhelming majority of people believe the state is there to eliminate the needs of the people. They are there to fill your cup, to cure your sickness, and to fluff your pillow. But in the U.S., that number is almost exactly reversed. Only 35% believe that the government's job is to eliminate need. 58% believe that the state just needs to get out of the way so we can do it ourselves. That's 20 points higher than our closest competitor, Britain, and almost 30 points higher than in Spain, where their giveaways have nearly destroyed the country. All of this leads to an attitude, the American attitude. We claim responsibility for our own outcomes, and that's reflected in the polls too. 72% of Germans believe success in life is determined by forces outside of our control. Only 36% of Americans feel that way. This separation might just be the most important single advantage that we must maintain if we're going to hold on to global economic dominance for another century or two. As we've seen lately, when that starts to go away, we become a society that deals with issues by occupying Wall Street instead of occupying an occupation. A free market, it doesn't work. It has never worked. Fundamentally transforming the United States.